Hi everyone. I thought before I uh, did a build video I'd just run through each component of the HSD uh, Jet L39 EDF. Um, one thing after the last video I found as I was removing the packaging, uh, just be very observant, there's one or two very small packages, or pockets sorry, and these packages were in those pockets. Um, so it could easily be missed. I checked the box twice, found it on the second time. So one is the instructions for the multifunction control unit and the other is the nuts bolts for the wings and servo leads etc. So uh, just, you know, as I say, next, yeah, when you're undoing your model, please uh, just make sure you've gone thoroughly f through the box. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's uh, have a look at each individual component. Uh, as you can see, the components are laid out here, all individually wrapped in fairly thick um, quality plastic, um, uh, which is providing a very, very good um, protection for the units, individual units. As you can see, already here I have the wing laid out. If we just come forwards a little bit, the little red dot that you can see um, near the wheel door here is the CG marking. So you'll have to set the model up to that, uh, but nice feature, no measuring and no chance that you may just catch the um, foam with the with a ruler or something like that. So that's quite a nice touch. As you can see. There's one of the digital servos, quite a substantial servo. Uh, all nice ball links and um, what looks like 4mm steel rods as the push rod. Again a ball unit, ball, socket and ball on this control horn. And um, you can see now the aluminium horn which I referred to in the unboxing video. Um, and it's a very very nice piece um, of attention they've paid here rather than just have the plastic ones uh, which you would normally find if I um, just turn the model over or the wing over sorry you can see the other side of the aluminium now here but because these models are hand painted after um, being put together the aluminium upper plate of the horn is um, sprayed over. The um, wing altogether is very nicely made and finished with control with the um, panel line areas and some scale detail. The bubbles that you see on um, foam models are actually there, the releasing bubbles, or it's to do with the uh, allowing the air out in production, I believe. Um, they are visible but not as visible as other foam models. The root of the wing is made of a very nice substantial piece of plastic and you can see where it's the wing comes in through this hole uh, sorry the male on the fuselage comes through this hole and then there's a, a bolt to bolt it on they're the nice big wheels, uh, aluminium hubs, uh, excellent size from grass operation. So, and these wheels are, have electronic braking on them. And you can see there the cable running through to operate the wheel brakes. The underside of the uh, wing is yellow which will help with um, the orientation of the model because black may not be I suppose the best we'll have to see as time goes by never owned a black model so but on a grey day that we have in England it could be an issue the tip tanks have a nav light on the end and the landing light on the front also a nice touch and the um, Pito tube screws into there. Right, the next component we're going to look at is the um, horizontal stabiliser. As you can see, there is the two carbon rods here that will slot down into the top of the fuselage. 
there's a male um, servo plug here which is actually not loose it is fixed into place so and it will meet the female as it's pushed into the fuselage um, very nice plastic blocks substantial going into the actual underside of the wing it's not just stuck into place here and that's to help hold the stabilizer on there will be four screws holding this from either side um, once it's mounted to the fuselage again we've got nice substantial servos digital and um, a ball arrangement there moving along again four mil steel push rod to the back end where is the aluminium control horn this is um, double plated and you've got the ball joint in the middle between the two plates very nice I could never imagine this being um, an issue uh, of ever coming loose or wearing like a plastic one could do so but still would be checked throughout the um, pre-flight checks again very nice the uh, vertical stabiliser is all black you can see a little bit more the indentations of the breathe holes these have to be there in the production of the foam uh, piece itself if they were not in it would not perhaps fill up properly and you wouldn't end up with a, a nice smooth finish you may have the undulations where air's got trapped in the mould the back side of the plate so there's the horn and the plate on this side again has been painted to the same colour as the model the hinging is a hinging it's not a pressed foam hinge like you would have on the uh, some of the foam models um, so we have three on the rudder so very nice and the joint is nice it isn't pressed but it you can see no daylight through it except either end of the hinge and top and bottom of the rudder okay now moving on to the uh, horizontal stabiliser this is the left side once again you can see the quality of the uh, servo is a little bit smaller on this one but still quite a substantial servo with a ball link on the elevator arm coming back round and again you can see the nice aluminium horn that now looks like the push rod maybe a three instead of a four mil push rod but again steel and very substantial no slop at all the whole end of the elevator or tailplane is um, plastic as you can see plastic tongs which will go into the fuselage and the bolt comes through those to hold it on again there's the uh, multi-pin fitting so as soon as you push it into the back end against the fuselage you will have all your servos electrics etc connected again it is a beveled um, surface the elevator but again using the hinging rather than pressed hinge in the foam this one is a little bit better finished than the vertical stabilizer not quite as many uh, breathe holes from the production process it's got quite a lot of nice detail on panel lines and uh, turbulators and again on this side I get the same quite a nice bit of uh, scale detail including here the trim tab for the elevator okay next one's moving on to the um, cockpit area um, it has the tab at the front the foam tab holding it uh, and in a minute I'll show you the clip on the fuselage which is very very nice very substantial um, spring loaded clip but the pin out of the fuselage basically fits into that hole and holds the uh, canopy in place some nice scale detail uh, panel it is um, just a vinyl sticker so but does look very nice it's not don't be thinking it's a 3d printed unit you'll get it is just a vinyl sticker but a nice one pilots very scale looking inside the cockpit 
could perhaps be a little bit taller but but still very nice pilots which in some you'll not get as good as that okay moving on to the uh, main part of the fuselage um, there is a nose section to this which I'll uh, show after this section um, that fastens onto there and as you can see very substantial ply plates here with captive nuts on the end and it literally bolts through using these big bolts here to hold the nose section on very nicely finished very little bubble holes where the air vents are on this um, if you actually look down inside the uh, into the back of the fuselage you can see they've actually got the breathe holes on the inner part of the fuselage rather than the outer so the finish is excellent this is where the rudder or vertical stabiliser fits in you can see the two holes here and here where the uh, two pins locate off the vertical stabiliser and it is screwed used through here, here, here and here and again coming down onto the uh, elevator fitting nice big plastic block at the back so you're not fastening just into little blocks in foam um, that's where the male part on the elevator fits in um, and the multi pin is inside there connection for the electronics to the elevator painted again the same colour so everything's matching there's no colour defamation at all between plastic and foam components ok moving on to the uh, wind se wing section now you can see uh, the male part here that um, will uh, go into the female part of the wing and that's how it's bolted on through those that's the uh, wheel recess uh, and the main undercarriage door in a multi-pin to connect all the electronics to the wing and there you can see where your carbon tube goes through for the wing joiner substantial uh, amount of plastic again which is running from that part through to here and it's all built into the actual components of the fuselage so it's very very substantial this is the uh, canopy cli clip I just mentioned um, I can't it's very very nice very strong and it's the pin is inside there and the two clips you probably see now the pin withdrawing so that holds very sub uh, securely the um, canopy in place that's where you would leave to put your lipos on there and moving backwards you can see the multifunction unit where you control all the servo servos from etc you can also adjust the speed of um, the travel of your retracts dropping and raising and there's quite a lot to do that you can do set with this um, and that can all be found in the multifunction guide that comes with it but in advance if you, you want to look at this you can uh, do so on the website of HSD UK high quality ply used it's not to me is a little bit marine ply or at least outdoor ply it's not um, a cheap ply and it looks to be made from three sections so two outer veneers and an inner the cables eventually will run into the nose part of the fuselage which we'll have a look at in a minute um, and you note here the size of the um, plugs which are a 7mm plug Okay, now moving on to the uh, nose cone I've just pushed fit at the moment you can see because there is the gap that's the reason why there's the gap not because uh, 
it's badly fitted just it's a loose push fit at the moment here you can see the bay where the uh, two cell batteries go um, once I've done the build the model and start to look at the CG positions um, I'll decide on what size of two cell LiPo I'm going to put in there because that's going to severely help to um, achieve the correct C of G um, with the model by using batteries as opposed to lead you may as well have more capacity to get the nose balance right Game multi pin plugs to fasten the front and back half together of the fuselage and XD60s for the control unit again all nicely finished um, the fuselage is made in two halves and stuck together so again all the air bubbles are on the inside of the fuselage rather than the outer part so extremely nicely finished that uh, is a plastic nose cone it is fastened on already so but for transport because I believe this is 2.6 meters long for transport you'll be able to unbolt the front end of the fuselage and uh, it should fit in the vehicle quite easily to be fair okay that's it for now on the component um, side we'll go and put the model together and uh, see you next time on the next video